see all my hate mail? Don't look at all my hate mail. I'm saving it for video. YouTube! Hello! Hello! Hello, Hello everyone! I am Tara from livingonadime.com. I am the author of The Dining on a Dime Cookbook, Volume 1 and Volume 2. They are a set, completely different recipes in each book. It's like an encyclopedia. You got Volume 1 and Volume 2, but can go together, but they're completely different recipes. Also, the Dining on a Dime Gluten-Free, Dairy-Free Edition, which we just had arrive last week, five days ago, unexpectedly. Ten days early. In stock now. Everything is 25% off right now. And our Get It Together People 2021 Planner. I only have 20 of these left, guys. I only have 20. I added back in. I always hold back books. When I get towards the end of selling out, I always hold back books in case the post office loses some orders. I have added those holdbacks back in right now, so I have 20 of these left. 20 of these left is all. I'm not printing any more this year. You'll have to wait till 2022. 20, oh my goodness. What? And then the financial planner and price book, guys, 50% off of these. If you need them. All right. Are you caught up? Uh, good, good enough. All right. Today we are making two ingredient Christmas candies. One of them actually has three ingredients, sort of. I'm doing the three ingredient instead of the two ingredient version. It's kind of up to you, but, and that's the first one. Now this is, this one is gluten-free, dairy-free, but you can make it regular. So all it is is a can of sweetened condensed milk, chocolate chips, and then if you want, the sweetened condensed milk and the, and the chocolate chips, or I mean the white chips, make it white fudge. But then if you want to add a little bonus, you can do spice drops and have like the nougat candy. <gasps> I love the, you want to know my favorite Christmas candy in the store? Peanut brittle. Nope. I don't like store peanut brittle because oh, mine's in, better. In the store, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> in the store is those peppermint nougats that have the little Christmas trees on them. You know which ones I'm talking about? I'll, that's my favorite. But you have to find them soft. And I found some the other day and they weren't soft, so I was very sad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my chips in my cup here. And now, you have to make sure you have 12 ounces of chips. I only have nine ounces of chips, so I am not putting all of the sweetened condensed milk in, okay? Now this is coconut milk, but you can use regular. Then you're gonna put it in the microwave, and in 30 second intervals, you're going to melt your white chocolate, okay? And then, if you want, you can use spice drops or just plain gumdrops, the non-spicy gumdrops. You can use any type of okay. soft candy uh, like that. You could use the orange, you know the orange slices, Mike loves those too. Now, if you want, you can go in and cut these into smaller pieces. But I wouldn't. I don't waste time. Here you go, honey. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Those are one ingredient fudge, uh, spice drops. One ingredient spice drops. If you buy them in the bag. <laughs> then just stir mm. it until you're... Um, until you melt them. Get your sweet condensed milk and your, cho and your white chips melted. Now, you have to stir in between each, or every 30 seconds. You have to stir every 30 seconds. If you don't, you can burn your chocolate, and then you have a really big mess. Dave is behind the scenes eating our props for our next video that I'm filming tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You said I could open it. I did. I'm just messing with you. You said I could eat it. All right. Here we go. By 
the way, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Now, get this stirred up <clears throat> just like so. Now, I'm using the wrong pan for the show. I forgot that... I forgot that um, I need the bigger pan to let it cool quicker so that maybe we can cut it at the end of the show. All right, so, oops, I'm sorry. Okay. So then all I'm gonna do is stir in the spice drops. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of spice drops. Mmm, yum. Doesn't that look delicious? That's a lot of sugar. Well, it's Christmas. Christmas is about having a lot of sugar. All right, then pour your fudge in, just like so. Now, normally I would use a bigger pan, but I want to cut this for the show. I probably should have used a bigger pan, actually. Let's just smush it up this way. Will it stay? No, probably not. Oh, well. That's fine. Okay, it'll just be thinner fudge. Then, if you want, you can decorate it on top with either sprinkles or more spice drops. Just cut them into little pieces like this. And, oops, I didn't mean to. There we go. Didn't mean to drop that one in there. And just stick it on top here and there. I should have picked out some more colorful ones for the top. Just take a couple of spots and do it just like that, okay? Then all you're going to do is put this in the refrigerator until it gets hardened. And then you're just going to cut it up into fudge size pieces. And you have your spice drop fudge, okay? And I'll pull it back up here and see if we can get it a little bit thicker, but that's okay. All right. There we go. I'm going to have Dad, Dave stick that in the fridge for me. Wow, that was fast. Is that the whole show? That's number one. <laughs> no. Is that the whole show? Is that the whole show? <laughs> I thought it was the whole show. All right. Now the next one in the fridge. See if we can get it hardened for the show. The next one I'm going to make is called Tiger Candy or um, Peanut Butter Candy, however you want to call it. And what you're going to do is you're going to melt your white chocolate, now this is almond bark, but you can use white chocolate chips right there. You guys see it right there? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna melt all of these. Ugh. Now, almond bark is a candy coating. You don't have to buy the expensive candy wafers. You can if you want, but you don't have to. And uh, it just comes like this and you just break it up. So you're gonna put your almond bark and your peanut butter chips in there. I'm going to have to let it melt down just a little bit more before I add another thing of almond bark. And then if you want to decorate it with chocolate on top, then you're going to melt your chocolate. And I'm going to melt all my chocolate because I have three other candy slash cookies that are two ingredient that I'm making also. So I'm just going to melt all my chocolate at once. Oh, did your mom not know there's a show today? She probably just forgot. All right, there we go. One piece in the middle of that whole thing. Whoa. We have a lot of it. Huh? One piece is just holding everything else up. Oh, I do. <laughs> stirred up now the first 30 seconds it's gonna seem like oh this isn't working but trust me it'll work okay stick that in there you just have to keep stirring it and keep it going okay do we have any questions while that's going oh questions on um what i just <clears throat> made on what, oh just on what you just made i don't believe there were questions related to that no. okay all right now I am melting.
melting my white chocolate and my peanut butter chips and then I'm going to melt my dark chocolate. It's not dark chocolate, um, almond bark. It's my almond bark. Um, now, see how it's getting all melty, but you got to keep stirring it, otherwise you'll burn your chips. Okay? So I don't have the camera down. Do I need to watch you stir? Or? Just like that. And we're going to nuke it again. Probably one more time we'll get it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to line your baking sheet, or, or I mean cake sheet or baking sheet with parchment paper if you want, or you can spray grease it if you want. Either one of those is totally fine. Some people just don't want to do the dishes of cleaning up and that's fine. All right, ooh, yum. All right, somebody give me a thumbs up or a smiley face or something if you love peanut butter candy. Oh, never mind. It is so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Sorry. CB says you had me at chocolate. I just I'm telling you. I'm not a peanut butter fella. You're not a peanut butter fella, huh? You should know this. You live in the same house. Right? We do. Okay. Well, I thought that was going to be last, but my two that I put in at the end. Okay, let me do this one more time. I'm trying to think why I don't like peanut butter, because the reason I've never liked it. Have you even had peanut butter, Dave? Yes, I have had peanut butter. And it's nice. Let's see. It's the consistency that throws me off. Not really the taste. The taste is okay. It's the consistency that throws you off? Yeah, like if I put a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it's the sliminess of it. The sliminess of peanut butter is what turns you off. Yeah, yeah, what turns me away well, from Well, that's a new one, Dad. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think we're there now. This is peanut butter bark. It is super yummy. You will love it. Oops. Interesting. Jack, the consistency of all the kids, interesting. Jack is our best eater of all the kids. What do you mean? I think he's the only one. You who are the anything. least pickiest of all our kids. Yeah, Jack. Am I? You are. Except when it comes to vegetables. Did you know that? No, no even kidding. with vegetables, you only you the only vegetable you don't like is green oh beans, right? Oh my goodness, I will never like those. I'm sorry. Green beans but are But you eat enough other vegetables that I'm good with it. I love green beans. I don't know what's. <laughs> I'll let you get get without green beans. Okay, so see how nice and lovely that is. Yep. So then. Pat, can you stick that in the microwave for thirty for two minutes for me? So then we're gonna put it in. I like all veggies to be honest. And you're gonna spread it around. Oh yum! It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yeah. Kitchen. <laughs> Take a look at the candy we're making. Next, it will be some baking. <laughs> uh, it cracked me up. Okay. Wait, oh, spoiler. For um, and regarding the ingredients, I'm sharing the link again, but it's also in the show description below. Uh, or, yeah. But I'm sharing the link here. Okay. Right in the comments as well. Okay, so then what you want to do is spread it really, really thin, oh, as thin as it can go. I mean, you can do it. You can do it thicker if you want. It just depends on what you like, I guess, is what I should say. Karen was wondering if that was Reese's Pieces you were using. It was Reese's peanut butter chips because my store did not have the off-brand. Okay, so now I'm melting the chocolate bark. Should come back up? Sure. And then what we're going to do, you can go ahead and come back, is we're going to drizzle it over the peanut butter, whatever. Guys, you can make like six candies in 15 to 20 minutes. That's why I hate decorating Christmas cookies. Although, I will say, I have gotten on this thing where I have started watching all these Christmas cookie decorating videos on YouTube. And I'm feeling slightly inspired. But I still think Christmas cookies are a pain. That's why we do Christmas candies. 
because they are so much easier to do, I think, in my personal opinion. All right, here we go. Ooh. All right, we are almost melted. Just stir it, can you see that, guys? How nice and fluid that's getting. It looks a little bit huge. All right, it's got just a couple of chunks, so I'm just gonna warm it just a titch more. Remember, we determined titch is a, a year word. ago or so, a titch is a word. Oh, thanks, Diane, for the super chat. She said, I keep forgetting to send Bible money. Sounds like this little ministry has been keeping you busy. Yes. It has. We are shipping like 100 to 150 Bibles a week. I mean, it's crazy. We're just shipping Bibles right and left. And if you don't have a Bible, we have them for free. Or if you can't afford one, if you can't afford one, we have a coupon code. Michael put the link in there. If you can afford one, just don't use the coupon code. They're only $9.50, our cost. We don't charge shipping over that or anything. It's just our cost. We will not come to your door. We will not call you. It is just an easy to read large print if you would like to read the Bible. Okay, now see how fluid that is? Isn't that beautiful? So then you just take and just go all over, just drizzle, like so, drizzle, drizzle. and just drizzle it all over. Drizzle just a titch. And oh. then, if you want, you can take a knife or a fork and you can just spread it. Ah, oh, not cool. Whoa, that looks amazing. Oh, yeah. I would say, do you want some deer? But you hate peanut butter, so this will be fine. Jack and I are going to be super happy to just eat this ourselves. Does Ellie like it? Oh, well, she might. All right. So. There you go. Dave is going to stick that outside and we'll see if it'll get hardened before the show is done. Yeah. Now, next, we are going to make homemade Kit Kats. No, actually, next we're going to make homemade potato chip candy. Now, this is kind of a new fad that's been going around for a while. And Jack was like, Mom, if you can make potatoes into a candy, I will be happy. He loves potatoes. Jack absolutely loves potatoes. So all you do, take your melted chocolate, take your your oh my goodness. Um, potato chip, what is it? dip it in, put it on there, and try to get potato chips that have, you know, a good amount of chip on it. Bigger pieces work better. Make sure you drain it off. Okay. And then you go through, just like so, pick out bigger potato chips, and you just dip your potato chips. Now, everybody's saying, oh, I mean, said when this first came out, oh, that's so gross. But guys, it's like, you know the salted caramels? It's the sweet and salty. And so it's like super yummy. Especially if you like sweet and sal salty. Oh my goodness, I absolutely adore salted caramels. I think they're the best invention ever. And so that's basically what it is. And then you just make a whole bunch of these and then just make a real nice pretty pile like the picture on our page. Now guys, all of these recipes are in our uh, are on our website. The link is in the description below. Someone asked if, they, if any of them are in the cookbook. Um, I don't think these ones are. These ones are not in the cookbook. These ones are just on our website. Maybe they'll go in Dining 3 if we ever do Dining 3. And if you're watching the video later, you go to livingonadime.com and click Two Ingredient Christmas Candy. Yep. In the search bar. Yep. Okay, so the next thing we're making is homemade Kit Kats. So you just take these wafer cookies See these vanilla wafers? And then what you do is you just dip it in, just like so. My daughter's gonna love these. She loves Kit Kats. Kit Kats. And then you just let it drain as much as you can. And there is a homemade Kit Kat. Is that not to die for? 
then I'm gonna show you something here in just a minute, okay? So there's the homemade Kit Kats. Next is homemade Reese's cookies. And you just take these peanut butter sandwich cookies and you dip them in the chocolate just like so. Let them dip, let them drip, not dip, let them drip. Just like so. Oh my gracious. Oh yeah, and I kind of wipe a little bit off the bottom because it'll pool on the bottom. And you just go in, and if you have a little finger, just dip a little. Oops, I didn't mean to put that much, but that's okay. Michelle's asking, is this parchment paper or wax? It's parchment. It's parchment, but wax is fine. You can use cereal box liners. Chocolate covered potato chips. Yes. So no, we're gonna, it doesn't look bad. We're going to have Jack try the, it's, it's supposed to cool and get hard. Oh, it but, is? Okay, but will have you try, try the flavor and see what you think. Okay, hold on. Here is a moment. What do you think? Got to get the face reaction. It's pretty good, isn't it? I never... That's pretty what? good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Okay, Dave's going to set those even... outside. Let those get hard. Yes. Now, I'm going to show you one other thing, and this is a fun, fun <laughs> present for teenagers. Uh, I just have a question really turn interesting. turn potato chips into a candy. Yep, you can turn potato chips into a candy. Isn't that wonderful? The world is complete now, isn't it? MJKT00, do these recipes work with dairy-free chocolate chips? Yes. Or, or is, there an yes. Almond, is there an almond bark that's dairy-free? Yes. Well? Almond bark is usually dairy-free. Um, Where's my package? This one that I got from Kroger. Where's the ingredients? Um, Mike's looking for ways to get into trouble here. <laughs> oh, now this one from Kroger is not dairy free. The white, I think, is, but it would work with dairy free chocolate chips. Okay, now we're gonna make a giant Kit Kat, okay? Oh, no. <clears throat> so, what you do is you line a, um, what do you call this thing, a loaf pan with um, plastic wrap. This is going to be what? Epic. Oh, epic. Oh, Dave, that's great. Then what Dave. you're going to do is you're going to put a layer Hopefully. of chocolate on the bottom. Now, not too, too much, okay? I mean, you want it to be on there, but you don't want it to be... You don't want it to be too thin. Lean towards the thick side instead of the thin side, but... You don't want it to be too thin because otherwise it'll just fall apart, okay? And then you're going to take the sides and you're going to put a little bit on the sides, okay? Jill from Wichita is in the house. Oh, Jill for oops, I didn't make my plastic big enough figures. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your wafer cup, your wafer um, cookies, and then you're going to stick them in your loaf pan. All to oops, I forgot to do that side. Get this side all chocolatey, and boop, there we go. And you want them all to be nice and neat, and stack them all in here, just like so, and kind of push them down so they're even. There we go. Whoops, my plastic, I should have, make sure your plastic is big enough, guys. I cut mine too short there. Okay, and then you're gonna go one, two, three, then one, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, two, three. Okay, wow. so now get them all nice and even. Okay, see how, see how that's all nice and even and beautiful? It's an awful lot of sugar. It's an awful lot of sugar, but you know what? Teenage boys love these things. And then you're gonna put your chocolate on top. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, since when do you not want the sugar, Dave? And you're going to let it dribble over the sides so you can make sure all the sides are covered with chocolate. And then what you're going to do is you're going to let this set up 
and you have a great big Kit Kat. Now, if you have too much, if you, I don't think, I don't know if this will get hard enough before the show is over, but if you have too much chocolate on the bottom after it sets up, just take a sharp knife and just whittle it off. What do you call that? Just, I don't know. What would you, how would you say that? Just cut off the excess chocolate because the chocolate will pool. So you might have too much chocolate on the bottom. I know. Can you ever have too much chocolate? But you know what I mean? So then just make sure, but that way you make sure it's all covered really, really well and all the edges and save yourself just a little bit of chocolate so that if you get make sure it's down there okay then if um, you have a hole you can make sure that you can fill it in there is your giant Kit Kat no you're what there you go. Oh, there thanks, you. Dave. There that is awesome. your giant Kit Kat. Is that not glorious, guys? It's so <laughs> glorious. All right. So that is our super, super easy Christmas candies. Livingonadime.com is where all of the recipes are. They are not in our Dining on a Dime cookbooks. These particular ones are not, but we have a whole bunch of Christmas candies in both of our Dining on a Dime cookbooks. Also, if you want the gluten-free, dairy-free version, Dining on a Dime, 25% off right now, guys, all of them. And one last announcement, I only have 20, 21, 20 of the 2021 planners left possibly less since we mentioned it at the beginning possibly less since we mentioned it at the beginning beginning this is all i have left i'm not printing anymore okay all right now let us see what questions we have my love dave can you put this outside well uh There's no space. so the free bible question i see a couple of people asking um Let's see. I'm, I'm sharing the link in the comments here, and if you're on the YouTube side, it's in the description. Let's see. How do you? It's the easiest way to get to it at this, at our. You just go to the shop. Yeah. So go to livingonadime.com. Click on the shop. Then on the left, it says free Bible, and you can click on that. The coupon code. You can put it in at the checkout. You have to go clear through to the end at the checkout. That's where the coupon code goes. So, just so you know. So, Lee is asking if you could show a page or two of the financial planner. So, the financial planner, right here, 2020, 2020 financial planner, but the other one is for 2021. We have our debt payoff here. So, you can put all your debt payoffs. This is another grid, if you like the grid system instead, for both for debt payoff. We have the savings tracker right there. We have your investments right there. We have your monthly bills, your monthly budget, however you want to say that. We have your expense tracker so that you can track each expense so that you know how much you actually spent that month, not just what you're estimating. And then your no spend log for those of you who like to do no spend month right there you can write down everything that you think you're going to buy and then you don't for your no spend so that is how that works okay let's see had some questions here uh oops okay Sorry, I'm still grabbing a few. Do we still have any volume two cookbooks? Yes, we do, yes. Brenda. We have, mm -hmm. uh, you can go to our, I shared the link in there for you, but if you didn't see it, you can go to livingonadime.com and click shop. Yep. And it's right there, it's in there. Volume two right there. <clears throat> All right, let's see. We're actually getting low. We're almost, not quite sold out, but we're getting very close. Oh, thank you, Blakemans. I don't know if you want me to show oh. your picture, but. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. 
they're in Florida. Okay. Thank you for picture. the Christmas card. <laughs> wow, so, and they're all matching. So Carol, I think Carol asked this last week too, and I think I already know the answer, but she wanted to know if you have a good recipe for divinity. No. Yeah, tar doesn't make divinity because mm -hmm. it's too complicated, right? Well, I lived, I grew up in Kansas. It would work here in Colorado, but I, the humidity doesn't do very well in Kansas for divinity, but, um, but I just don't like it. So no, I didn't. Oh, thank you, Tony and Nate. Awesome. Aw, thanks. The, cute little the, Christmas the, card. The newbie setters? Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Um, Frankie, wanted to thank you because of your help. I'm now a stay-at-home mommy because I saved a total of $11,320 this year. Wow. She says my husband was so proud. You go. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah, working moms have no idea how much money they waste. And a lot of working moms <clears throat> are making like a dollar an hour. After you pay for childcare, car, special clothes, office gifts, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's actually pretty sad. Um, and so that is wonderful. Oh, uh, let's Ooh, see who this is from. I like it. Vicki. Oh, in Colorado. Oh, I love this. I love the, 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 the card piece oh, that you wow. put on the front. It's awesome. She wrote a big, long letter, so I'll read that later. But thank you. Oh, and oh, she used a Christmas nice. card to decorate the front. That's mom's big tip. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Whoops. <gasps> oh, cool. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It's called the Money Saving Cookbook, and it is from 1940. Wow. <gasps> oh, thank you. I love old cookbooks. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Ugh. Oh, this is cool. Okay, let's see if there's anything strange that we... Buttermilk spoon bread. Suet pudding. I should make suet pudding for the show one day. I don't know. About I don't even that. know what suet suet is. I um, should know. I think it's the stuff that you use to make birdseed. Puffy muffins. I thought those little birdseed balls Griddle were suet. Griddle cakes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dried beef omelet. Chinese omelet. Haven't ever heard of that one. Cheese farina timbles. Hmm. No idea what that is. What? Oh, here we go. Okay, you got your gun ready? <laughs> Welsh rabbit with milk. Can you take care of um, Fluffy in the backyard there? And Oh, I don't know that I'm interested in rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Julia says your hat cool. looks like a Cinco de Mayo Christmas. <laughs> it That's does. awesome. She says maybe a new Hallmark movie. Yes. <laughs> And then, thank you, Pam. We got your card. Thank you very much. Isn't that pretty? We've had a couple questions asking, where did you get the nativity cling on the microwave? Thank you, Tammy. It. I got the nativity cling at Walmart. Ooh, that's a cool looking card. And Tammy's this card. is from Sue Ann. <gasps> thank you. Oh, thanks. We love Christmas. And from our good friend, Bandana Grandma, look what she sent. Let's see. Look what she sent me. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Susie. Guys, go check out our channel, Bandana Grandma, on uh, YouTube. Here's how you spell it. Right there. Can they see that? Thank you, Susie. Thank you, thank you. Lisa wants to know who's going to get all the candy you just made. My family. <laughs> <laughs> we often, because we don't want to eat too much of it, we often... We'll give it to, give the, neighbors. It to the neighbors. Although I didn't make that much today, so probably uh, won't give the neighbors that tonight. Did you talk about the nativity scene yet? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. I didn't Walmart. Know. Tina's been with us for a long time. She says it's her birthday today. <gasps> Oh, Happy great, birthday, Tina. Tina. There you go. <clears throat> me, 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 me. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tina. Happy birthday to you. Uh, oops, we lost it. There you go. <laughs> Yay, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Tina. Allie wants to know, do you have a pretzel caramel bark recipe? Actually, that's, we should I be don't. able to modify one well, of our current barks. No, but all, you don't really need a recipe. All you do is take a pretzel, put a caramel on top, melt it, and then drizzle chocolate over it, or, Bacon. yeah, that would be the easiest way to do it, is what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, or you could put the bark down, break up the pretzels, and put those caramel bits in there. You could maybe do that, too. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> we already answered the nativity scene. There are a lot of other questions, but Darlene is asking, when will your mom be here for the holiday? Uh, next week. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, what? Jesse earlier said, my little girl and I made all the candy from last week. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's the beauty. These are so much easier to do with kids than cookies. I don't like cooking with my kids. <laughs> so I never did anything. I'm sorry, Ellie. The kids don't like cooking with you either, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave! <laughs> Don't worry, just um, saying. So I never did like Christmas cookies with my kids or anything, but we would do Christmas candies every now and then. But uh, let's see. Uh, sorry. Oh yeah, actually, those are really good for making with kids too. All these really easy ones are awesome, like activities. Um, yeah. Gail just got my good gluten-free book today. I was going to give it as a gift, but after looking through it, I think I'm keeping it and buying myself another one. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. So I will say our gluten-free, dairy-free has been arriving yesterday and today in people's mailboxes. And we are getting huge reviews. People are absolutely loving it. It lays flat. We have full color pictures right there. Whoa. All of this food in here is... Oops, sorry. All of this food in here is... Um, Tested on my non, on my normal family. I wonder who. They love them all. If you guys need a cheap sandwich bread, gluten-free, dairy-free sandwich bread, I'm going to do a video on this in the new year. But the gluten-free, dairy-free sandwich bread right here on page 76 <clears throat> costs about a dollar to make a full loaf. And I will tell you, when I make it, Jack will eat the entire thing before I even get it cooled if I don't hide it from him. He absolutely loves it, and he doesn't have to be gluten-free. Which? But my gluten-free bread. Oh, you know. my goodness. The gluten-free bread is so good. They love it. <laughs> Dave yeah. and Jack both yeah. love it. Dave knows to ask, oh, do I need to eat this? Or, or can I eat this? Because he knows. Because Mom will kill me if I eat it. <laughs> So our, uh, Jack finally is old enough that he asks now, can I eat this? But yeah. And Lorene said, just received my two cookbooks today. Got them in time for Christmas. Thank you. Woo! Guys, we busted our buns on Friday. All five of us were shipping books. We, sit, we shipped out 600 books on Friday. In five hours, we were beating it to the post office. Mike literally drove up. The truck was sitting there, and the guy was like, okay, I'll wait, <laughs> I'll wait so we could get them on the truck for you. Then Monday, because we had a two-day Christmas sale, because a lot of people were like, oh, I don't get paid. Can you wait? So I was like, okay, I'll do one more two-day Christmas sale. Monday, we shipped out, was it 400 or 500? I can't remember. Four or 500 books. And would you believe... Well, that wasn't actually the real reason why we had the sale. The real reason we had the sale was my grandma is moving out of her house and mom has some stuff that she's going to take from grandma and she needs to put it in our garage until we can get a storage shed or we move. So we needed the space to move some furniture. We have a recliner that we're taking from grandma and uh, some other stuff from grandma. So we needed space in our garage. And then people also 
missed the sale. So I was like, okay, let's do two day sale. But we sold, we shipped. I can't remember if it was four or 500 books, but we got two more pallets gone out of the garage. Woohoo! We were super happy. Super, now super we can happy. actually get to the door. <laughs> we can actually get in the garage now. That was crazy. Yes, our books will be available next year. Our gluten-free, dairy-free is going to be permanently in our store, Wanda. They're now available, but they will yep. continue to be. Yes. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure if she was, well, wasn't sure if she knew they were already yep. there. Tell everyone Dave, love your hats. Enjoying the dairy gluten free dairy free cookbook. A lot of people saying Yay! they've gotten it already. That's really awesome because we oh, just it's great. sent them. And what's funny is we weren't supposed to receive them till the twenty first, and they came yeah. ten days before that, so liquid. we shipped them immediately. It's not done. It's, it's, it's not liquid. <laughs> so what's funny is, oh yeah. So what's funny is we weren't supposed to get them till Monday. Mike called to see where they were. And she said, oh, I'm really sorry. They are stuck on the boat. There's a big backup. They can't get it unloaded. Okay, so Dave is going to show you here real quick. Can you guys see? This is what they look like. Just a second. Oh. Right there. Can they see that, Dave? Yeah. Here's the little Kit Kats. Here's the little peanut butter ones. Yum or here, you want to try the Kit Kat and see what you think? Oh, yes. Wait. Oh, yum. There we go. What do you think? Mmm. What kind of chocolate is this? The almond bark. Mmm. Then for your Oh yum. <laughs> for your peanut butter, just break it into pieces. Just like so. There you go. Boom. It's that simple. So anyway, so he called and the lady was like, I'm really sorry. We've got a big backup. They can't get it off the ship. It's going to be another several weeks. And we were like, no. So she called back and she said, you're not going to believe this. She said, the ship is completely full, but they managed to get one shipping container off and it was your books. And when she called, she didn't know it, but our books were actually in Utah. So we thought it was going to be three or four days later. Was it the next day? Yeah. So I think the next day at seven o'clock in the morning, we got a call. Yeah, I've got a semi truck full of books. I think it says like, it looks like they're all the same book. <laughs> They're always surprised about that because I guess, I don't guess they don't must, they must not do too I many guess. publishers. The shipping guys are always funny because. Is, this, is there only two of these? Yeah, but I can make more. Can I eat this one? Yeah. So. It's the homemade Kit Kat before I snarf it. Mm. Oh, yum. Yum. So anyway, it was funny. The shipping guys are always hilarious. Ma'am. Even if I do say so myself, I are delicious. I did pin the Bibles uh, link, Charlotte, and so what does that mean? It shows, should show up at the top here, shouldn't it? I don't know. I pinned the Bibles link on um, the Facebook side. If you did not see that, you can go to livingonadime.com and click shop, and then on the left side, there will be uh, one of the categories is free Bible. Are you going to try the peanut butter cookie? What are the cookies called for the Kit Kats? Oh, you use the... Um... The vanilla wafer... Oh. The long strip vanilla wafers like grandma used to get. Oh. You probably can't tell very easily. It's pretty delicious, but huh? If you happen yeah, to be able to see white. the end there, <laughs> it's kind of white. It's pretty good. Mmm. Hmm. Lisa says I looked on your website, but it says vanilla wafers. Yeah. Um, that's actually, I thought we usually. Well, they're, the, they're called the same. See? I see. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh. Kathy wants to know, are we doing a show next week? Yes, we are. When is Christmas? The next day. So well, the, 20, so the 23rd is Wednesday. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so for your big Kit Kat guys... Now, excuse me. No, I'm choking. <laughs> all right, all right. So for your big Kit Kat, if you have 
See how the chocolate kind of goes wonky? Just take a knife and just shave it off. Just like so. And then you can make it all nice and neat. All right, let's see. Ooh, that's looking nice. So see how you can shave it, and then like this little hole, you can fill in that little hole if you want. You don't have to, but if you want to. <laughs> and then you have your giant Kit Kat right there. So that's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Stick that with a $20 bill, and you will have a team that loves you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question. Uh, okay. Let's see, where are we in questions? Hopefully the only reason they love you is not because you made that. Cathar. You think they would love you more than just because you made them a present with $20? I'm, I'm saying hopefully hopefully in the first place like they love you not only because... <laughs> because it's not just about the money or the food. <laughs> Cathar, I hope I said that right, said, Hi, finally caught you live. Yay, hey, welcome. we're glad you're here. Welcome. And if any of you haven't been here before, we're really glad you're here. Yeah. Well, actually, we're glad all of you are here. <laughs> Daily Vacation. Merry Christmas, Colorado family. Thank you for all the hard work and information you share. P.S. That was funny when the pallet jack was backing up on its own the other day. Oh, was that when yeah. I was in there? Oh, okay. We were moving it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. We were hauling on that morning. They called us at 7.30 and said, well, we'll be there before noon. We're like... Well, the, we were expecting you in three or four days, the but The previous okay. day, I just called to ask about it, and I was going to call that morning and say, I, I said, Tara, at 9 o'clock when they open, I'm going to call them and say, hey, whereabouts are the books, or can we arrange that delivery? And, and they called at 7, <laughs> said, we're coming. Can we bring it now? Yeah. Hello, Gary. Hello, Nancy in Canada. Woohoo. Uh, let's see, where were we? Oh. Merry Christmas to you guys, too. Uh, oh, did you scroll down? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's cool. Um, Wait a minute. Who's I, that? I been watching collection. us? Let's see. Michelle's been watching us for four or five years. Wow. Thank so you. So glad I found you live tonight. Thank you. We're glad so, you made it today. For those of you who don't know on YouTube, I am doing on how I lived on $300 a month, doing a little series on that. Very controversial. Oh my. It's given me lots of content for new videos. <laughs> yeah. And I just have it to rocks say, in people's world. for all of you haters, thank you. <laughs> we are making so much money because of you. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, did you see Joanne's question? Will there be a show with Jill? Yes. Okay, cool. And hello, Nancy. So good to see you guys. The world needs more living on a dime to grow rich. Thank Aww, you. thanks. We got uh, several people thanking us for the Bibles. Carla and Cheryl, you're welcome. Um, oh, Tracy, I am so sorry. Her granddaughter just passed away. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible at Christmas. It's horrible, yeah. Uh, Lisa, am I too late to get a Bible? No, we still have Bibles. We just give them out of our own, just as a thing that Mike and I want to help people with. And then we do have people that help donate Bibles, by the way. Thank you. We got many donations this week. Thank you for helping us with that. We are shipping about 100, well, it kind of depends on the day, but between 100 and 150 Bibles a week. So thank you for those donations because that's a lot of Bibles that we have been putting out. So, And we don't call you. We don't show up at your door. It is just a New Living Translation in large print to make it easy for you to read and understand the Bible. Um, if you need one, <clears throat> they are free. If you could afford one, they're nine fifty. Gay says suet is beef fat, and somebody else said they used to use that instead of butter. And uh, what's this? That Pepper. might have been in nineteen forty. It could have been because mm -hmm. butter was in shortage. Yeah, it was. Um, I don't know if, if this mm -hmm. is something that we would have that they call it something else. Karen asked if we have a recipe for poor man's hamburgers. Is that something like any of the hamburger type? Are you food? thinking the made rights? It might be the made rights in Dining on a Dying Volume 1. Ooh. Or it's on our website. I think it might be similar to that. Uh, 
Let's see. Is almond bark gluten free? Yes. Always. It is usually? always gluten free, but it's not always dairy free. So it just you just kind of have to look at the ingredients to check on that. But you can use dairy free chips. Last year I tested when I wrote when I wrote gluten free dairy free dining on a dime. I tested all the recipes in here with the chips. The dairy free chips, okay? So Ooh, Anne is asking if you like the heart between us. Did you send it in? We didn't know where it came from. That oh book. the book. Oh, I haven't read it yet. <laughs> That's where it came from. We were wondering there was no name, so thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank I you. I thought it might be something like that, but we weren't sure. So um all right. D let's see. Ditching the grind three. Thanks for having live shows today. It's good to see you. Um, Bandana loved your Saturday Night Live church lady face and voice again. <laughs> so here's the thing. We are actually thinking about going live more frequently. We are throwing it around. We don't know yet if we are. We may do a test run here in a couple of weeks and just try going live more often and see. We're trying to decide if me making the short 10 minute videos is easier or going live is easier. Because for every 10 minute video, it takes me about four hours to edit it and shoot it and everything. And so, yeah. Erica, are we going to take the vaccine? To be honest, I'm a little terrified. No, we, we don't. I, I do vaccinate my kids for measles and mumps, tetanus, Pooping cough. Well, I want to see what happens to that. People. They did get the chicken pox vi vaccine, but they got chicken pox anyway. But no, we've already had the thing going around, and it was not that big of a deal, not frankly. For us anyways. Um, we are all under 70 years old. With the exception of me, everyone has an immune system that is fine. Yeah. I had a cough for about 10 weeks, 8 or 10 weeks. It is finally gone this week, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. So no, we will not, we will not be doing that. I thought it would be like Ooh. influenza, but Jesse wants to know if you're making the large peanut butter cup next week. That's funny, Jesse. I was actually thinking about making the large peanut butter cup next week. That is my teenage boy gift. Is the large peanut butter cup? They all love the peanut butter cups. So in my family, that's the one that we give. But Darlene wants us to go live. <laughs> so I don't know. So we're going to, I don't know. We're going to test and see. I don't know if we're going to do every day or just twice a week or three times a week or what. Not quite sure how to do that. But um, we were just trying to decide. I don't know. So anyway, yeah. Trying to decide what to do on that. <laughs> yeah. The main thing is the recorded ones are easier for Tara because if she's not feeling well, she can do a little bit of it whenever she's yeah. feeling okay and then stop and then do a little bit more a little bit later. But the live ones are on a schedule. So if she's yeah. feeling really bad, she just dreads the whole day thinking, I don't know if I'm going to feel well at that moment. Yeah. So that's so, the main issue. I don't know. How's the house hunting going in Wyoming? We actually found another place, but it looks like it doesn't have internet again. This place was really cool because it had a rental house and a main house, so we um, we could have income with the house also, so that would have been nice. But it's looking like it doesn't have internet again. That's our number one problem with our house hunting here and house hunting in Wyoming is finding good enough internet. Well, if we go to the doctor, <laughs> uh, we get the vaccine. Let's see. I need to see that video for sure. Do you have one with the large peanut butter cup? Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I did the large peanut butter cup. I don't think it was last year. I think it was two years ago. I don't know. I think it was maybe two years ago. So. Yeah. John, says not every day you'll get burned out again. Actually, I oh, was. Oh, I get, I've been permanently burned out for 15 years. It's just whether I can function <laughs> I'm just permanently burned out, but hey, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, let's see. It's just uh, the story of my life. Let's look over here and see. 
Your hats look heavy. So cute. They're not Actually, heavy. they're not. They're foam. So they're really, really light. Yeah. All right, guys. Our books are all 25% off for all of our big books. And then our price books are 50% off. Guys, listen up. Listen, listen, listen. Mike and I sat down today. And we actually planned. Whoa. What? What? I was thinking, is there something oh, that's wrong with you? you? She said the other day. I was so um, confused what you guys Something about are you proud of me? goals. And I was thinking, goals? I've always said, let's have some goals. Yeah, and I heard you guys thought You were about highly that. resistant. So we sat down, and I thought it was going to take 20 minutes, and it took us, what, an hour and a half? <laughs> yeah. But we actually made some plans. And here's the thing we have some super cool sales coming up over the next two months. If you are not on our newsletter, livingonadime.com, it's at the top or a pop-up window comes up, sign up for our newsletter so that you can get these good deals because we have some stinking good deals coming. And so we have planned for the next eight weeks I even sat down and planned the videos to go with them. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. So if you are not on our newsletter, go sign up for our newsletter. Also, if for some reason YouTube decides to just wipe us clean and dump our channel because, you know, if you happen to be saying you love the president because he's actually doing a good job, they don't like that. So, if we get knocked off YouTube, our newsletter on our website is how you will be able to find us and where we have gone to next if they decide to dump us. All the YouTubers that are standing up against this baloney are having to find new platforms. Thankfully, so far, we have not had this problem, but I ain't putting up with whining anymore. We had a bunch of whiners yesterday on my $300 budget. And let me tell you, I ain't putting up with it. So, I'm going to tell you like it is. Because you got to get it together, people. <clears throat> right? We're getting it together for 2021. Yes. So, uh, anyway, go sign up ooh. for our newsletter if you want to keep in touch with us and get some good deals. So, we had a couple other questions. Um, do you still have the book on how to pay off your house early? Did we do one like that? We didn't do one like that. I wonder if it was the dig out of debt. It we it wasn't that one was a collection of articles, yeah. but it wasn't a book. Although that yeah. would be kind of cool. Okay, so how do you pay off your house early? Take every penny you can and just dump it on the principal. Make sure you mark on the principal line of your mortgage statement. Don't just add it because they'll put that on the interest. You have to make sure you mark it for the principal and make sure for the next payment that they credited it to your principal because we had them not credit it one time. And we did mark it. So make sure they mark, you mark it on the principal. And I mean, I don't care if it's $2. You put something every single month towards that principal. And if you can do one extra payment a, a year, that takes off three years off your mortgage. If you can just do one extra payment a year. Anything you can. Our tax refunds went there when we sold, or not when we sold, when we wrecked a car and we got $7,000 for the car, but we bought a $3,000 car instead to replace it. We put that $4,000 on there. Tax refunds, sell stuff, cut back on your grocery bill. All of those kinds of things went on our mortgage, and that's how we are completely debt-free at the moment. Yep. Uh, sorry, you already asked, we already answered the gift baskets one, right? No. No. Oh, Erica, I love watching how you make gift baskets for people you haven't done in a while. I hope you do it this year. Are we well, I wasn't planning on it. I was trying to decide if I should go to Dollar Tree and do a Dollar Tree gift basket show. I don't know. I'm going Christmas shopping tomorrow, so I might, if I happen to go to Dollar Tree tomorrow, I might do it. Oh, Julie, sorry, I just saw this one. Your advice helps. I paid off all our credit cards and life is better. Yes. Let me tell you, not having debt. It's so, so much better, yes. It's great. 
Um, there was another one here, I thought. Oh, yeah. Tanya's Reviews. You guys, I sold one of my cars. <gasps> Woo you go. That's it, guys. Do you need two cars? If you don't, get rid of one. If you're home with COVID and it looks like you're going to be stuck home for a while, sell the car or at least take it off the insurance and don't drive it. You can park it in your driveway, take off the insurance, and at least don't pay for the insurance. <laughs> How do you pay off school loans? Well, you just take every single penny once again and put it towards your student loans. I'm sorry. I know people are hoping Biden will cancel those, but it's going to be a long shot for Biden to cancel your student loans. That's first of all, it's That's just stupid. But That's a lot of debt from a lot yeah, of Yeah, but I really would not count on that at all. We've had a couple of people ask that. I would not <clears> count on that at all. Get every penny and just start putting it on there. Cut your grocery bill. If you cut your grocery bill from $25 this week down to $20, take that five bucks and put it on there. Every penny counts. Cut out the lattes, cut out the manicures, cut out the um, car payments, all of that stuff and throw it on your, on your um, student loans. So yeah, anyway, okay, cool. Well, I don't know if they're yeah lisa we doubled our principal for as long as we could pay it off our house in 11 years of the 30-year loan yep and connie was talking mm -hmm. about how do you pay off student loans i think you might have just been talking about yeah. something like yeah. that okay yeah yeah so we had a loan on this house for 30 years <clears throat> and we paid it off in seven and a half seven and a half i think seven and a half years i think so all right well i think that's all the main questions all right Guys, please visit us at livingonadime.com. All our big print books are 25% off. Our financial planner and our price book are 50% off. And um, we decided we're probably not going to reprint these today. So the, if you want a hard cover, if you want a hard copy, we probably aren't going to reprint these. Uh, it's just a shipping issue is the biggest thing. But we, I'm so proud of us today. We actually had a business meeting and got somewhere. I know. <laughs> 2021, we're going to quadruple our income again. So for, I know, so for all those haters. Goal, hashtag goals. <laughs> I know. So we've had all these haters lately and I'm doing a video on it. I'm going to film it tomorrow, but I'm doing a video on it. But all these people have been saying, I'm unsubscribing, blah, 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 because of whatever I did this time. Our income has quadrupled in the last three months of 2020. So, thank you all you trolls who say you're mad at me because <laughs> it's been helping our business. Um, so, anyway. Jessica, sorry, I just want to answer Jessica's question. Uh, if a tree, if my tree fell down during a windstorm and hit a neighbor's carport, am I responsible for creating the damage? Ooh. You know, probably yes. But if you have... Home, I think your homeowner's yeah. insurance might pay it. If it doesn't pay it, I would probably call a lawyer and ask them because they usually give you like an, uh, yeah. a short consultation on the phone without charging you. Um, it, if it is an act of God, your insurance might, might not... pay for it. No, they might pay for it. They might. Okay. Yeah. But if you cut because, down a tree and it fell onto them. But then... no. Well, if you cut it down and it fell, then that's, maybe that's not. <clears> but... <throat> But I would call your insurance company first and ask for sure. And then, I hate to say it, but you might be responsible for it. I mean, you can just say no and then they can sue you. So you can do that. But, you know, if you want to say no, but... Uh, Iron Man Crushing Lime, Super Chatted 4 dollars oh, Thank you. Thanks. My husband and I stumbled across your channel and I love it. And we love it. Keep up the great work. Yay! Thank, thank you. Thank you. We're sure glad that all of you are here. <laughs> um, let's see. Paula says their insurance pay for them, and yours pays for your damage. Yeah, just call your insurance company. I don't know which way it would go. She's in. Paula was in Canada, so that may not be the same here. But just call your insurance company and ask them. I think homeowners yeah. insurance is likely to pay. Yeah. But if. If they don't and you run out of options, I would maybe call a lawyer real quick and just say, mm -hmm. hey, what do, what do I need to do with this? Ooh, Beth is in a new state, new apartment, and no debt. 
You Ooh, go, girl. Yay. You go. That is great. All right. Oh, somebody asked if um, on the broadcast caffeine. No. Gotcha. No. All right, cool. All right, guys, livingonadime.com, 25% off all our print books right now, 50% off our price book and our financial planner. Livingonadime.com. We will see you guys on, I don't know when we're going to go live again. Definitely next Wednesday. Don't know if we're going Hopefully. before that. But we will see you guys next time. And thank you for all of you who have supported us and helped us keep going and actually build our business in spite of all the negative people out there. We really appreciate it. <laughs>